Okay, welcome back. So in this lesson, we'll be talking about the design of Data Vault Ensemble satellites. And of course, these are where we track the context, uh, the descriptive information about the core business concepts. So um, as you saw from last time, we talked about the structure. Of course, the structure, we include some kind of effective date time in the main satellite there, uh, name and information if it's a person. And then we have a design criteria and really what it is is like a guideline for helping us think about how we can do a good job modeling. One of them is to look at the type of data. So separating address information from profile information, from demographic information, rating information, that's a pretty uh, good standard. So similarly grouped information is in a, in a separate satellite. Also we consider the rate of change. So for example, uh, if there's certain attributes that change all the time, and some that barely change at all, we tend to separate those out, like customer rating, which could change every week. We don't want to put that into like their name, which changes once every never, right? It doesn't really happen very often. And then of course, the last one is source system. So is there a reason why we should separate by source system? Well, only if the values for the same attributes would conflict. Otherwise, if it's for different instances of CBCs from different sources, different attributes, of course, uh, we would not want to separate them. Let's take a look at the board and see what might happen there. Okay, so um, we were just discussing that it's probably not a great idea to separate satellites by source system. Now, you may have heard that, that it is a good idea, but really, let me show you why it's not. In this case, what we have is we've designed three satellites, which not a lot, um, around a concept of, say, a customer or a client. In this case, we're just gonna say now that there's 20 source systems. Of course, 20 is a pretty good number. I mean, some of you may have 12, some of you have 200. We worked with clients that have had up to 2,000 different sources, but for now, let's just assume 20. So if I said design satellites by source, split them by source, I now have to consider what happens next. Just take a look. Okay, so I stopped short of doing 20 for each one of these because you can see what's starting to happen here. Um, does it really make sense for you in this case to have 60 satellites when there's three different kinds of satellites based on having 20 sources? And also think of what's actually happening now when it comes to changing the structure of say an address attribute. If now we wanna say the satellite should have an additional attribute or be defined in a different way, we'll have to repeat that change 20 times for each of the different sources. Plus, if I'm looking for a simple question, like for example, I'd like to know customers by region. So I need to know their postal code. In order to do that here, you'd have to take a customer record and join it, not that it's a technical discussion, but an outer join to 20 separate satellites looking for the uh, postal code versus going to just one satellite to look for the postal codes. You can understand performance-wise, maintenance-wise, agility-wise, doesn't make any sense. So really, as a standard, designing satellites by source system is not a recommended approach. Let's go back to the slides. Okay, so we've seen now um, in a uh, lengthy example uh, why it's not a good idea to use source system satellites as a standard, but again, to just reiterate the fact that it could be a factor if, for example, a source system has the same exact records of information, they both talk to Hans, so the same record, the same instance, and they speak to the same attributes, which means they're trying to describe the same set of attributes, but they're slightly conflicting. In that case, we'd have some leapfrogging records and some issues, you might split those by source. In the end, the best practice for designing satellites, do a good job. We'll see you at the next session.